Hello there. Welcome back to the Friends of Ringo Ishikawa, day 35 it looks like. Things have been flying off the rails in my other Let's Plays. I figured I figured I needed to come back down to earth with a little bit of Ringo time. See uh see what's good in the streets, you know. See how my how my friends are actually doing. Or, or or if they're even friends at all anymore. I've left the village for so long, they've probably you know, gotten all kinds of new catchphrases, the, all the weeds are popping up all over the place, they're wearing different shirts than I left them in. They might have even moved out of town, who's who's to say, really? Uh, but I will find out after I blow out my delts on the, on the parallel bars here. I've missed this music. I forgot how good the soundtrack is. It's just... It's like... It's like the lo-fi beats to relax and study to, but it's closer to like chill hop beats to smash a, a human's face into the pavement too, or smoke a cigarette on the pier too. One of those two you know, activities. <laughs> it's, it's pick and choose at your leisure. All right, I, I worked out at the park. It's still five in the morning, almost six in the morning. What what could a student even do at six in the morning? Most of them are just waking up right about now to go get their their cereal. Oh no, not their cereal. They're probably waking up and grabbing their toast with a whole dollop of butter on top uh, because they're about to be late for school and they need to run with their arms uh, at their sides, but also above their head. If you know what I'm. Either way. I guess uh, students get in fights at 6 a.m. <laughs> That's what they do. All right, bud. Come on. Come on, you want to fight? Level up. You know what? That's not bad. Level up fresh, fresh into the new episode. I'll take it. I'll take that little bit of good luck. Does it ever say what level you are? There's a little thing that says 12 in the middle of this menu screen, but I don't think that means anything. Hmm. What if... What if... One of these places... I think the diner... It opens at 8. We've got an hour. We could sit here and smoke for an hour in front of the diner, waiting for it to open. I might do that. The city is abuzz, and the kids are on their way to class. It's Sunday, there's no class today. What am I even thinking? I think Ringo just needs to order some food and maybe, uh, maybe relax on, on this day of rest. What if we got... Uh, we're gonna go full full on with some yakisoba and some nice ooh a cafe Ameri a coffee americano just take it black get that gross bitter bean water to wake us up nothing like poisoning your insides and your teeth at the same time uh, Ringo's still hungry, it looks like, even after eating his, um, yakisoba, so I think we should go to the grocery store and really, really fill that belly that hasn't been full in, like, 30 days. Uh, alright, girl, what do you got for me? Um, let's get him some, <laughs> let's get him some fresh sushis and sashimis. Uh, tonkatsu sandwich. Some muffins. Two beers. That's the way it's gonna be. And I've got about half of my yen left after that purchase. <laughs> I took half my money. That's impressive. But it is what it is. Uh, food. Let's get him some sushi, some sashimis. Let's get let's let's dessert is muffins and then two beers. Ah, how often have we seen the full status in this game? Not often, I don't think. That's a happy-looking Ringo, if ever I saw a Ringo. Um, I 
can't. I don't think I can interact with the train benches at all. Oh, I can. I can just sit here, wait for a train that's never gonna come. Very poetic. Um, but you know, time marches on. Um, life comes for us all, and I think uh, I think the only thing, the only appropriate thing to do on a Sunday, is to get in a fight with some street toughs. Uh, maybe advance time a little bit more quickly than it naturally would. Come on, come on, a little bit closer. Punch power up. Hell yeah, my, my two fights of this episode have both yielded great results. And I'm getting money out of these nerds. I am all about this life. Alas, <laughs> my forensic skills have told me a fight was has broken out here. Wow, there were no survivors. Uh, just just free money. Okay. <laughs> There's nobody under the underpass. What's going on? Oh yeah, there's this old gas station here. This guy can train you in some moves, but I've, I've heard they're bad. Hi there. Hey, nice ride. That's the end of the conversation. <laughs> Is this the first time we've heard Ringo's voice? I don't normally hear... I don't normally hear him grunt when he throws punches. That's really funny. Hmm. All right. A little bit higher than I would have thought. A little bit higher pitched. Oh, come on, there's got to be some people to fight around here. I want to. I want to get knocked out in advanced time. Here we go. Hmm. All right, finally. That was a weird phenomenon. Whenever Ringo would get knocked down and stood back up. He'd, like, automatically grab whoever was nearest to him. And that's pure instinct. That's ultra instinct, even. You, you can't really teach that. He's he's just a natural fighter. Uh, so it's midnight. <laughs> what am I doing? I've, uh, I've sat here punching my punching bag for a couple of hours just to see if it did anything. I don't think, I don't think it's yielded any results. <laughs> I didn't see any stats come up uh, the couple of times I, uh, I quit doing it. So, oh well. I suppose all that's really left is to just uh, go to the park. All right, and spent the rest of the morning just watching Bruce Lee movies, which, uh, you know what? I encourage you to do that as well. It's, uh, it's a pretty good time, pretty entertaining time. Myself, I haven't really seen any. Uh, I think I might have seen Enter the Dragon once in my life. Um, I should probably get on that. I really do like kung fu movies in general. Uh, my favorite being um, what I know as Tom Yong Goong. You might know as, th I think, the very first pro The Protector movie with uh, Tony Ja, where he's like trying to rescue a baby elephant from this weird uh, murder crew. It's super weird, but just excellent martial arts and stunts and stuff it's uh it's pretty outstanding but uh i'm i'm criminally under underserved in the kung fu uh movie category uh, if you have any suggestions let me know other than bruce lee because that's that's what i'm talking about is that i haven't seen any and i know that i need to i digress let's talk to the most important people in the room uh noboru Damn, Ringo. What? My robot lost. It was some Frankenstein-looking thing. No artistic design lines, nothing. Just a functional piece of metal and an ugly-looking one at that. I don't mind losing, but not to this thing. Damn. Okay. Sorry, Noboru. That's life sometimes. What's this girl's name? Aiko. She wants to talk to us. Ringo, tell it like it is. Are you in love with Mariko? I'm not. Why are you all blushing, then? I'm not blushing. So that's the kind of girls you like. I see. I never said I liked her. Can't hide any secrets from a woman's heart. Well, maybe she's onto something. I don't remember who Mariko is, to be quite honest with you. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to light up. I'm not here to join you, Masaru. You can have. You can have my floor cigarette. <laughs> you can. Uh, you can enjoy the butt. Uh, okay, I think I would like to check out the roof. See if there's any pals up here who want to chat. Goro wants to talk. Man, <laughs> we are. Uh, we are being treated to some conversations today. How nice. Ken got better, I think. Sorry, that was that was uh, Ringo's voice, which is notably slower and lower. <clears throat> Ken got better, I think. I don't give a damn. Oh, oh, okay. Well, all that panache for just like a two-sentence conversation between a couple of assholes. Uh, I guess I better get back to class. I've got nothing better to do. I'm really just trying to accelerate the end of this game. <laughs> to be quite honest. TBQH. Iko, check out this coin. I bet I can flip it a bunch of times and never drop it. Oh, hey, it's class time. I've got 2% knowledge, baby. What am I going to do with it? Nothing. Like, I know a little bit more about physics. Um, I guess I could help with my punches if I sort of, like, calculate the the angle and the power that I need to accurately destroy a man's nasal cavity. Just really crunch that sucker up. But um, something tells me that that's not something you learn in school. Ah, Takeda wants to talk. So, Ishikawa, I see you're getting in shape. You have a sharp eye, Sensei. I won't put you on the roster, but you can come to practices. I had no such plans. A buddy of mine had no such plans either. Next thing you know, he's the city champ. <laughs> who is that? Uh, who is that? Hajime no Ippo? I have no, I have no ambitions of that sort. Weren't you the team captain? I was appointed. Have it your way, I'm just saying. It couldn't hurt. I was coming home from a store recently, and some drunk tried to stab me. This and that, I finally kicked him in the nuts. He fell, rolling around and screaming. Looks like adventures keep finding you, Sensei. In a way. Anyhow, clean up your karate suit and come to practice. Thank you. I do really like the conversations in this game, even if they are like, um... Probably especially because they are like... About nothing, but the characters are still saying something. Does that make sense? I'm sure it does. You're a smart person. Uh, that is, uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again. That is capital L, literature, right there. Uh, it is Monday. I missed my video job. I didn't even think about it, because I don't really need money anymore. It's like the end of the game. I bought everything that I think I could want. Let's go check out the pawn shop, see if there's anything new there, maybe. Um, gosh, I wonder if... Uh, is that my first or second miss? I, I don't recall. I know I missed one due to a cutscene, but I don't know if the game counts those. It shouldn't. If this game is smart, it shouldn't count those. Uh, nope, that's the gym. We want the pawn shop, which is here. Yeah, this grease ball looking guy. What you looking for? The golden chain, yeah, I want that. I, I did not read the first dialogue box. Um, something yada yada, mine's $9.99, but I don't, I don't know about this one though. Don't worry, it's fine enough. He must have been talking about like the authenticity of the gold or something. All right, I got a gold chain, what is that? Does that do something for me? Am I just cool now? Am I like a cool guy? Um, oh, look at that! I didn't, I didn't really think it. Uh, it showed your stats and stuff on this page, even though it says status. I, I just, I've just never looked at it. But it tells you all your level ups in your, in your different categories. Cool. Um, this is worthless. This does nothing for me. It shows I'm level eight, but <laughs> again, it's all so abstracted. It really doesn't mean a whole lot. Can you ever go in this door? I don't think this is anything. Uh, let's go see if Ken's home. 
Let's see what uh, that troublemaker is up to. Probably brooding. He probably is just stuck at home with his dartboard that his friends could come over and play with him. But all he wants to do is be a sourpuss, so... I don't know. It's a way to kill time. Hello, is Ken home? Yes, come on in, Ringo. Damn. Third time we've been in Ken's room after after having not been able to for so long. Let's talk to Ken. The map's still hanging. Still is. Remember how we used to make war plans with it? I remember that. Good times. We never ended up taking over this city, though. I never really took any of that stuff seriously. I did. Yeah, okay. Uh, hey, you wanna play... No? Doesn't wanna play darts? Alright. Just wants to hang out by his window. Staring at all his trophies that, uh... That are just gonna sit there and collect dust for the rest of his existence. Ken's a cool guy. Super dope. Oh shit, we got a cutscene. And Ken's over. Relaxing. Laying back. Haven't been to your place in a while. Don't do it, Ken. You're gonna hurt your hand. How's your hand? Getting better. Gotta show it to the doc next week. I think it'll be alright. You think of coming back to the gym? I doubt it. Maybe I'll get back to it in college. Oh, that's still... Still can. Maybe I'll get back to it in college. <laughs> it sucks that the only thing that I have is a different cadence and slightly different tone for them. It sucks that it happened this way. Yeah, it sucks. Did you make well with Goro? Nah, he's taking it too hard this time. Because you went too hard on him. Looks like he's serious about this. And who isn't? You know, I don't feel like talking about it again. I came here for another reason. What's that? Brought you some manga. Tiger in Winter. I read this already. Have it. It's a gift. Why? You don't look too happy. I thought it's your favorite manga. Yours too. I have no use for it anymore. Yeah? What you doing, Ken? Anyway, it's yours now. The complete set. You've been kind of down lately? No, man. You got it all wrong. Alright. Thanks for the manga, Ken. Alright, see ya. Alright, can I read this? Can I actually study Tiger in Winter? No. Not an option. Maybe it's in my bookshelf? Nope. Nope, just gonna sit there on my desk, reminding me of my failures for the rest of time. Uh, I think it's time for Ringo to maybe, uh, take a long nap. 4.10 a.m. Sounds good. Um, alright. I think, uh, I think that'll do it for us on this episode of The Friends of Ringo Ishikawa. Friends, indeed. Um, we have we have seen their inner turmoils, their their clockwork designs for each other and themselves, and suffice it to say, it is it is too intricate for us mere observers to understand. But I digress. I'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves and peace. <laughs>